Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we're doing an objective mission called Distant Relative. We're going to harvest a Himalayan tar that weighs 87 kilo or more. So, for the last week or two, I've been watching Himalayan tar, trying to find a big boy, trying to find a five star. And I've been watching this four star in front of me. And for what seems like a week now, he just hasn't aged anymore. So I'm going to take him out because I just don't think he's got the genetics to make a five star. So this is where we are. So we'll look at the map. So I've got lots of locations marked for Himalayan tar, but I've got a few really good groups down the bottom left hand corner where we're at at the moment. And then the middle left, I've got quite a few like three star matures and things like that I'm watching. So we're hoping that one of those does eventually make a five star. I had a bit of a gutter yesterday. I had a four star white tail I was watching. Uh, that died of old age. So hoping we have a bit more luck today. But this is the mission we're doing, distant relative. As you can see, it's worth a thousand. And I do like doing all the missions and objectives. And when I do them, I always video record them. Uh, it's helpful for people as well because they learn how to do them, especially on the hard ones. So. We've got the trusty Steyr Monoblock 308. Best rifle in the game, I think, overall. I, if you ask the community, they probably would say that. That's the boy we're after. He's a four-star. But like I said, he's been a four-star for a very long time. He would have been five-star by now or died. So I just think he hasn't got the genetics. And so we're going to take him out. And that's why everyone loves the Steyr Monoblock <laughs> 308. He's just a great-looking rifle. He performs really good. And uh, what we got down here? It looks like we've got some else. Oh, we've got a chamois. I've got another group of Himalayan tar that drink on the right hand side of this pond. But yeah, it's been quite good down here. Not yet, from what I've seen. I've seen a few three stars I'm watching. I was a bit good to about the white tail yesterday. That made four star and then died of old age. I've got a four star red deer that could make five. I've also been watching that one star white tail deer the albino, that I've been watching for seemingly like a week and he must have poor genetics because he's still a one star. So he's only going to make one or two star best. So we might shoot him in the next video. I have got a melanistic fallow, a male I have discovered. So we've got two rares to shoot. That might be the next video, like I've just said. Uh, we'll see. I'll watch the fellow a bit more, see if he ages. But yeah, I was disappointed with the albino whitetail that uh, he's probably not going to make anything decent. He's only been one or two star. Um, like I say, I've been playing for the last week and uh, he's, he's literally just still one star. <laughs> so uh, he's not going anywhere special. But he's my first albino whitetail deer, so I'm, I'm glad about that. Right, so here's that Himalayan tar. This should do the mission. Let's just take a few uh, pictures. Now, what you want to do is try and face the sun. Try and find the best angle of where the sun is when you're doing this, if you're trying to get the best trophy shot. And sometimes it's really hard, and uh, your characters, if you've got a gun on your back, can put shadows over your face. Same as a hat I'm wearing now, I can. So you want to try and like position yourself so that you're sort of facing the sort of sun, if you can help it and uh, you get the best sort of viewpoint of your trophy pick. I'd love to be able to do trophy poses. That would be a dream in this. Imagine putting the animal in a, the exact position you want for this picture. I've got an idea what I'm going to do with this anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this picture uh, instead of the tar because it's like in the grass, so you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So what I'll do is... I'll use my character on the left and I'll leave a space on the right and I'll put a big Himalayan tar on the right hand side. But yeah, that should do it, I think. But uh, sometimes, like I say, I just spend ages doing this. Because it's going to be the thumbnail, I'll have to make sure it's right because it's quite an important part of YouTube videos. Um, so you have to make them as good as possible. And like I say, it can take a lot of time. But with this feature, with the drone cam, it makes it a lot easier to get this kind of shot. Otherwise, I'd have to have someone in multiplayer come take a picture of me, get the exact picture, send it me. Oh, is that all right? No, that's not all right. Can you just move a bit to the left? Do you know what I mean? It'd be a nightmare. <laughs> It'd take you so long. And I'd I do that in other games now, uh, still, for, for certain videos. And uh, like I say, you've got to rely on the person knowing exactly what you want. And then when you say left, right, just move up or down, then they've got to send you a picture. 
and then you know what I mean so it's a lot of work and this drone cam definitely makes it a lot easier so I wish a lot more games would have this it's been a big week this week for me if you haven't seen the previous video for long classic check that out it's been massive it's 15 years I've been YouTubing this week it's been my birthday and thank you for all the best wishes thank you for that for the birthday wishes I do appreciate it and it's 15 years for the Hunter Classic since I've been playing it. So it's a massive, massive week this week for me. And uh, it's been nice to see all the well wishes and everyone thanking me for, for uh, all this, the videos and that over the years. Now, I was looking the other day because of this and the uh, anniversary, 15 years of doing YouTube in. And I looked at Whale Hunter in my playlist. And I'm on my 125th video. That's what this one is today for Whale Hunter already. And we've not been playing it that long, really, if you think about it. i played it since launch, but it's not that long since it launched. And we've already done 125 uh, decent videos. And what I class as decent videos is, it's a lot of videos I make, right? And and sometimes I just like, nah, I don't, I don't want that. And I delete it. And some footage is absolutely, look, you know what I mean? It could make a really good video, but I just don't feel it. So I just delete it. And quite strict on quality control so i always try and make a good quality video and if i feel it's not going to be a good quality video i don't make it it's just that simple i don't just push something out just for the sake of it um i always try and find something decent to for you to watch basically and uh, sometimes it takes time and sometimes it just happens naturally and sometimes it's just fluke <laughs> can i admit it sometimes you just come out and it's just there in front of you and you're like Happy days. <laughs> and then sometimes it's a week and nothing. And then that's the day you're like, I wish I'd never done this now. <laughs> so while I've been rabbiting on, we have completed the mission Distant Relative with that Himalayan tar. I'm so glad to get something out of it. I was a bit disappointed, but when I've seen its genetics, it wouldn't have made a five star anyway. So we've completed the objective mission. Um, so we've got something out of it. That's that's a good thing about it. There's nothing worse than watching a four star for like a week and then it dies of old age. That is gutting. And uh, a few weeks ago, I'd say about three weeks ago, I had 10, 10 four stars do it in a row in like a space of three or four days and it absolutely destroyed me. But then we did get quite a few five stars in a row. So I can't really moan about it. It's just like... Uh, my dad used to say, you can't always have the cream. <laughs> That's what he used to say. But anyway, Himalayan Tsar, these are the life cycle need zone times. This is when we sort of came. So coming during the drinking need zone time at this bottom left. And also that left middle area, the ponds, lakes around there has got a lot of Himalayan Tsar as well. So I'm Robert Tube. We've been doing a mission for Way to Hunter called Distant Relative. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.